I'm Phil Hudson. I'm Barry Bowen of the Newcastle Ecclesia in Australia. We have a project called the Enzyme Project, which is a plan to build a hostel in Gush Etzion near Jerusalem to help accommodate and educate returning Jews to the land. God gave the Holy Land to the Jews, the Christadelphian community, believe and teach this. We have seen the land transformed from a wilderness, laid bare by thousands of years of conflict and neglect. It is now a thriving metropolitan and agricultural society. The Jews are no more or less godly than other nations, but we know them as God's witness that he is God. The Ensign Project is to connect us to Israel and what God is doing in the land. So we join this witness. All Christadelphians, young and old, are asked to contribute five or six dollars to this project. We need to declare this land belongs to God and despite what men will do to it, this land will be delivered into Jewish hands before Messiah returns. Jeremiah was told to buy land near Jerusalem just before the Babylonians invaded it, because it was his inheritance and it would be given to him. The nations say it should be given back to the Palestinians, because it was taken from them. But we, like Jeremiah, declare it belongs to Israel. Whatever happens, it will be returned to the ones to whom God will give it. We believe this and we want to testify to it. We want to inspire you to connect with these words from Isaiah 31 verse 5. As birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. Defending also, he will deliver it, and passing over, he will preserve it. In the 1500s, Leonardo da Vinci designed the machines that we know today can fly. But it was not until 1902 that God enabled the Wright brothers to invent the flying machine. In World War I, the British had air superiority in the deserts of Palestine over the Turkish and German enemy. By spotting the Turkish forces in the desert, they were able by throwing notes to British ground forces, and particularly the light horse, to direct them to the retiring Turkish troops and overrun them swiftly. There was only 20 minutes of useful light left on the afternoon of the 31st of October 1917. The light horse had to get to the wells in Beersheba and they had to do it before the Germans detonated the charges that destroyed the wells and deprived them of water. 800 men rode into the Turkish artillery. It was the last successful charge of light horse in world history and it was swift and unbelievable. This was the same day Lord Balfour of the British Parliament wrote to Baron Rothschild a letter known as the Balfour Declaration, claiming the British government looked with favour on settling a home in Palestine for the Jewish people. General Allenby entered Jerusalem on the 9th of December 1917, releasing this city from Turkish control after 400 years of occupation. Air superiority gave the British victory, and Jerusalem was delivered and preserved. There was a Turkish flag in Jerusalem in 1917. There was a British flag there from 1918 to 1948. When the British left, Jordan occupied Jerusalem, while a Jewish ensign flew over Palestine. God told us in Isaiah 5 verse 26, he will lift up an ensign to the nations from far, and will hiss to the Jewish people from the end of the earth. And behold, they shall come with speed swiftly. In 1956, Egypt's Gamal Abdul Nasser became leader of the Arabs, intending to force Israel into the Mediterranean Sea. He did not succeed, and it took two months to bury the dead. They were scattered over the desert. In 1967, he tried again. Israel preempted the war in 1967, striking Egypt's air force and destroying it on the ground. The Egyptian early warning systems were turned off so the leader of the Egyptian forces could inspect placements in the Sinai, ready for the invasion. The Egyptians reported they were winning the conflict and had destroyed 70 of Israel's planes. Jordan, who occupied the old city of Jerusalem, 
and the West Bank came into the war. Israel took Jerusalem from Jordan. If King Hussein of Jordan had known the Egyptian air force was non-existent, they would not have committed their forces to the battle and would not have lost the old city. In the Six Days War, on Wednesday the 7th of June 1967, Jerusalem was taken by paratroopers. As birds fly, so God will deliver Jerusalem and defend it. On the same day, the Jews gained possession of Gush Etzion in Judea. Aircraft have only existed for 110 years. They made it possible for the British to claim control over Jerusalem in 1917. They made it possible for Israel to defeat superior forces and after 1900 years rule Jerusalem and defend possession 50 years later in 1967. This is prophecy. God signalled his intention to us in these words of Isaiah. We can see that no one other than God could know when men would fly like birds and only God can know planes would be used to deliver and defend Jerusalem. God is inviting us to get involved in this event and we want to be there. Please help us witness for the truth.